Hi guys, I'm Sumbul and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be talking about the new Chanel launches that is the Spring Summer Collection 2018. I bought a few products from this collection and I swatched all of the products from this collection in store and I bought the ones I really liked and which I considered were really worth trying out. So you may have noticed that they came out with a very colorful eyeshadow palette also and I swatched all of the shades from that in store and most of them didn't impress me much. I did like a couple of the shades but I thought it not wise to just get the palette for the two shades that I did really like. So if you are very tempted to buy that palette, I would first recommend swatching the shades in store because although a couple of them are really very good quality and pigmented but there are some that are very low in pigmentation and don't really impress much. So just be aware of that. And the other thing which I was very keen to swatch in store was the lip duo. That is the lip balm and the powder color that comes with it. So it's a duo with a lip balm and then there's a powder, you know, it's like a um, eyeshadow sort of a color, but it's uh, meant to be used on the lips. So the way it works is that you put on the lip balm first and then you just take on the, uh, take some of the powder and just pat it on your lips with your fingers or with a brush. So it, it's supposed to really intensify the color as you rightly you know can guess because you have a lip balm so it will really soak in the powder so i was really you know very keen to try that out also in store but i was disappointed to see that they only had three shades so far so there are only three du duos at present and i think one of them is a very pinky shade and the other two are very bright reddish orange sort of shades so that's why I didn't buy that but I really thought it was a very interesting concept and I wanted to buy it but just because of the lack of variety in the shades I didn't buy it this time because I was not very keen to buy more reds and orange and pink because I already have tons of similar shades in my collection so I was hoping to try something different but maybe if Chanel you're watching please give more variety in, in, in those duos so that I can also be tempted to buy one. So anyway, now let's talk about the products I did buy. So I bought four products from this collection. Two are lip products and then two eyeshadows. So they are individual eyeshadows and they are the Ombre Premier Longwear Powder Eyeshadow. And one is in the color number 40, Chris Anthracite. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but that's how it's spelled. So I don't know if there's a fancy way of pronouncing it. So number 40 and then there is this number 38 titan so these two are individual eyeshadows and then i have two lip products so one is the rouge coco stylo complete care lip shine in shade number 212 and the other one is this rouge coco gloss in shade number 788 so now let's start with the first eyeshadow so this is how the packaging looks like that's the regular Chanel cardboard boxes and then it comes in a very nice velvet pouch luxurious and then this is how the individual shadow looks like so this one is number 38 Titan and this is how the shadow looks and then it also comes with these two small mini eyeshadow brushes one with the sponge applicator and then one with the regular bristles and then let me swatch it for you so as you can see, it's a very pigmented, a very vibrant metallic shade. And by the way, I am also wearing the same shade on my eyes right now, which by the way, I'm going to show you in a little while how I applied this metallic eyeshadow on top of my basic eyeshadow. So you are going to see that in a few minutes. Until then, let's talk about this eyeshadow. So as I said, and as you can see, it's a very bright and metallic shade. And the price of these eyeshadows is £25 each and they come in three finishes. They have mattes, satins, and metallics. So the two I've bought are the metallic ones because I just love the metallic shades. So I bought these, and I believe they come in 20 different shades. Don't quote me on that. You can check the Chanel website to be exactly sure, but that's what I believe that they do come in 20 different shades. And now let's move on to the next eyeshadow. So that one was called Gris Anthracite number 40 and the packaging is the same velvet pouch and then the individual eyeshadow although the packaging is plastic but it does feel like a 
somewhat good quality plastic not the best but above average quality i must say so this is how this looks it's on the very silvery gray sort of a side and then this also naturally comes with these two brushes the sponge tip ones and the bristle one and then just look at this swatch again lovely very vibrant very pigmented and very shimmery i just love the metallic feel of this okay so now let's show you the eyeshadow application first and then talk a little about that and then move on to the lip products so as you can see i have put on the basic eyeshadow and now i'm going to complete my look with one of these chanel very glamorous eyeshadows so today i'm choosing this chanel number 38 titan and this is the lighter one and the more you know uh, vibrant one of the two i have and also because i have done my eyeshadow look with keeping this shadow in mind so let's go okay so i'm going to take my sigma eye shading e55 brush and then dip it in the eye shadow then just take off the excess and start patting it on so i haven't put anything on my brush that is i haven't sprayed anything any fixing fluid on anything like that it's completely dry and i'm just taking the eye shadow and just transferring it to my lid just like that no extra uh, steps taken over here and you can see it's already quite pigmented even in the very dry state so that's how it looks with the brush now i just want to check how it turns out when i use my fingers to pat it on okay so the fingers have really intensified the result so you can do like i did that is start with the brush and really define the area where you want the shade to be and roughly fill it in and then use the fingertip to intensify the result or you can use your fingertips from the very start if you've got a really steady hand which i have not my hand is a little bit shaky so i like to first you know very precisely define the area with my brush and then just use my fingertips and it is looking really nice in my opinion okay so as you can see i have put on the chanel eyeshadow on both of my lids and now i'll just see you shortly after i put on the eye eyeliner and just do my finishing touches Okay so now I have the eyeshadow on as you can see and I've done the finishing touches that is I put on my liner mascara and you know just blended everything in for a finished look and this is how it looks As far as the quality of the eyeshadow is concerned I think it is really good it is really pigmented it blends in very easily the only issue I have at this stage is it has quite a lot of fallout especially if you are applying it with a brush So with with your fingertips it's much better it goes in really pigmented and very smoothly and has less fallout than when you're using a brush so keep that in mind and in fact with these eye shadows i do recommend that you do your whole eye makeup look first and then move on to the foundation blush on and bronzer application because in this way even if you have fallout it will ensure that you can just you know easily wipe away the fallout and then apply your foundation and it will give you a much cleaner and much more you know airbrushed look in fact this is a tip for all eye shadows that have a lot of fallout or if you just generally don't want to risk seeing if an eye shadow has fallout or not especially if you're trying it for the first time so you can just do your eye makeup look first and then move on to the foundation and the rest of your makeup okay so the first lip product i have is this rouge coco gloss moisturizing glossimer shade number 788 and this is how it looks so packaging wise it reminds me of the Estee Lauder lip gloss i already have and this is how the applicator looks and then let me show you a swatch so it's a very subtle peachish sort of a lip gloss which turns to quite transparent when you put it on your lips and the texture is quite on the thicker side it doesn't feel sticky and it doesn't feel greasy so that's a good thing but it's quite thick and it's a little bit shiny it doesn't appear to have any glitter particles in it so it's basically just a very shiny gloss now let's move on to the lipstick this is the last product i bought from this range and it's the rouge coco stylo complete care lip shine lipstick in the shade number 212 and the shade also do have names but i am choosing not to pronounce them So this is how this lipstick looks. 
very sleek packaging. So the shade is a very soft pink as you can see and the texture is really creamy and buttery and on their website they say that it this is supposed to be a hybrid uh, lip product that is it's a mixture of a lip balm a lip gloss and a lipstick so you're getting three products for the price of one and just from the swatch on the hand i would say that it appears to be a very smooth and buttery sort of a texture and the smell is just amazing so it smells like you know the dior rose lip balm that come in a um, white pot although i don't like that lip balm very much but yeah it was i think one of my disappointing products because it doesn't provide a very smoothing effect or a very good hydration to my lips but that was another video but anyway so the fragrance is exactly like that one it's a very rosy kind of fragrance and that i really like so as you can see this is a very subtle pink i would say it's a very subtle pink for me because if you are more lighter skin tone than me then maybe it's a uh, sort of a darkish color for you but for my skin tone i would say this one is subtle because my lips also are quite brown so if i just apply a thin layer of this lipstick it won't be as pigmented as you can see it on my hands but if i do apply more layers then naturally the color will more pop out but that's how it goes on my lips which i'll be showing you in a short while also so price wise the gloss is 26 pounds and the lipstick is 28 pounds and the lipstick i believe comes in around 16 shades again don't quote me on that and the lip gloss i'm not sure how many shades but i believe they have quite a variety of the gloss also so again you can check the chanel websites if you want to i'm not really sure about the exact shades they have but i do know that they have quite a shade range of the lipstick and the lip gloss also so now i'm going to test the lipstick and the lip gloss that i bought from this collection so let's begin so this is the lipstick and then let's see so i've just applied a little lip balm to my lips and then wiped off the excess with the tissue so i don't have much on my lips i'm just going to go in straight away with this lipstick and see the result hmm. it is quite pink oh god it smells lovely so as you can see, I've not used any lip liner at this stage because I want to test the potential of this lipstick and also because I want to see how easy it is to apply, especially in, in the uh, you know corner of the lips where it's quite difficult without a lip liner. So that's how I normally test my lipsticks because with a lip liner, all lipstick can give a you know pretty neat and very put together look. So if you do want to really test a lipstick, I'll suggest doing it without a lip liner first. In that way, you can see how easy or hard it is to you know achieve a sort of a tidy look and how pigmented it is because with the lip liner, you know, it adds to the pigmentation. So without it, you can see how the color looks on your lips on its own. So it's always better to not use anything and just go straight with the lipstick first in order to fully assess it, if you know what I mean. So for first impressions, it has a very, very excellent smell. And then the texture, oh God, it's the smoothest, creamiest, butteriest texture I have ever seen in a lipstick. It went on really smoothly. It just felt like I was applying a very, you know, rich lip balm to my lips. And the pigmentation, I'm also very happy with it. It gives the right amount of shine and color to my lips. So I guess their claim that this is a lip gloss, lipstick and lip balm rolled in one. I think it's not far from the truth because I'm just loving this hybrid formula. The only thing I would say because of the shape of the lipstick, it was not very uh, easy to reach the corner. So naturally, I would need a lip liner with it. But so far for first impressions, I'm just loving this. And as far as the staying power and the wear time, I can't comment right now because this is just the first impressions. But if you're interested, you can comment below and I will tell you how it wears over, you know, let's say eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours. And if it stays like this all day or if you have to reapply it and how often do you have to reapply it so if you're interested comment below and i will make sure to reply to your comments so now although this lipstick is itself very shiny but we still have to try the lip gloss so i'll just try to <laughs> apply it on top of this so this is the rouge coco gloss moisturizing glossimer and the shade number is 788 dull gold kind of a color and now let's see how it wears on the lips. So I'll just pop it in the middle because I have a feeling that if I apply it all over my lips, my lipstick is going to bleed through. 
everywhere. Okay, so I'm noticing a very subtle effect because as I told you and as you can see that the lipstick already was really shiny and bright. So I don't notice a very noticeable difference. And I think it was not really fair to apply it on a very already shiny lipstick. So I think I will change the lipstick and then again try it so you can better judge if it's any good or not. So I'm going to apply this L3 Sisley one of my very favorites on my lips. It's a very dull, nudish kind of a color, pinkish nude, but I just love it. So I have my lipstick on as you can see and now let's again attempt to try this out. So this is attempt number two. So I don't know how much you can see on camera right now, but this is a very subtle shiny gloss. So it will not give you a very glittery or sparkly effect, but it will make the lipstick a little bit shinier. Not a lot, because I have a ton of other glosses that give a much more shinier look than this one. This is a very subtle, shiny gloss. So I don't know how I feel about this right now, because as this is the first impressions video, it's too soon to say. Maybe if I try it on its own and see if it gives a very natural shine to my lips, maybe it'll be more better wearing it on its own so i need to try that out and maybe test it out with some other lipsticks but so far this hasn't really impressed me much so this was all guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video again don't forget to like comment and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more beauty videos every wednesday until next time stay beautiful